Welcome to the Bata State University, Office of the Director for Instruction, in Service Training 2023, Instructional Retailing in the Post-Pandemic Teaching Learning Environment. Service training or the INSAT is one of the major program of Cotabato State University. Teachers in this training will undoubtedly improve their quality teaching. In fact, as the Director for Instruction states, namely Dr. Ombra AMM, the quality of the education system cannot exceed quality of teachers. He also states two objectives to achieve after this training. The first one is to regenerate and set to the passion and commitment to faculty members of their duties and responsibilities. The second one, to retool the faculty members with innovative pedagogical knowledge and skills response into the post-pandemic teaching and learning environment. Dr. Salma Dilna, the University President, and Dr. Tang Alim, the Vice President for Academic Affairs, really supports this program as they give importance not only to the key officials of this institution, but also to the faculty members. As Dr. Salma Dilna said, the faculty members is the soul of the university. And Dr. Maripaz C. Abbas, Dean of College of Teacher Education, shared the house rules. Hence, during the first day, it began with the energizer where we can see that teachers are very energetic while performing the dance. After that, everyone has witnessed the interactive lecture where the speakers, namely Miss Lenny T. Navas, Dr. Wilter C. Friolos, and Dr. June Y. Betty called the participants to share their inputs or insights to the topic they had been delivered. That made the whole training engaging and very interactive. The first resource speakers that we had was Dr. Wilter C. Friales, wherein he gives us insights on the 21st century education as introduction to how do we perceive on the new educational platform expected from us in the time of pandemic. The second lecture that we had was Dr. June Y. Badi. He discussed the innovative teaching, method, and strategies which reminds us on competencies of whom we are as a teacher. These research speakers are very humble as according to them, we are not here to criticize, but we are here to listen and learn from each other. That means they are not the only one who can give their insights, but they are also learning from the participants. In the second day, they had the cooperative workshop where it also began with the energizer and there was a recap given by Dr. Rita and she ends it with a quotation as a teacher, we must be teachable. In this cooperative workshop, it was indeed an incredibly amazing as the resource speaker supports the presentation of each college department, especially on how we have to be culture sensitive since we have our own standards, needs, and expectations. We have to be compliant. They added, that environmental awareness, sustainability, our social impact, our relevance to the community, 
are responsive to the needs of Cotabato City and its people. That was an interesting advocacy, isn't it? That really makes strategies and skills to be developed. Care for environment, environmental protection, and environmental preservation. These research speakers also gives importance to the ISO. That according to them, ISO is not telling us that we should be a perfect institution. We have weaknesses, weak points. So long as we give actions or corrections, it's okay. Another highlight was innovative teaching strategies and methods wherein teaching and learning could not be complete without an assessment. That was according to Dr. Friolis. And the best way for us to be able to look to the effectiveness or the outcome. Well, how do we do that? We assess. Because assessment is non-negotiable in the teaching and learning. And there will be no teaching without assessment. Thank you. 